Good morning, good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome to, let me go ahead and just invite everybody. I know, I know some time, I know some people are driving. Um, and just remember that these are, uh, you can watch the replays and you're still, um, they're still gonna be in the drawing or in the, a chance to win the um, the one-on-one -on -one shadow shift with me. Hi, Jennifer. Okay, hi, Jen. Okay, so I just want to first say that I have, I got food poisoning <laughs> uh, Friday night, so I'm still feeling a little not very well. I was going to cancel this altogether, but um, we're going to go ahead and do it. I'm hoping that, uh, I hope I can get through all this. <laughs> um, it was pretty bad. So, um, but I'm here. So good morning. You guys say hi. If you're here, Janelle, I know you are driving. So girl, don't do that. <laughs> don't say anything. Um, let me go ahead and just get everybody. So if anyone has messaged me the last, uh, last couple days, like I'm really, it's been really bad. Um, so, um, okay, let's get going here. I think I got everybody. Okay, so welcome to this mindful morning week, but also the five day shadow challenge. Um, and Stacy, hold on. I thought that I invited her. So, okay, so I want to kind of talk about how this week's going to go real quick. So we're going to do, um, Stacy, are you on here, girl? I, um, okay. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, so how this week's going to go is, so we're going to do these mindful mornings, um, every morning and then tomorrow night and Wednesday and Thursday night are going to be zoom calls. We were just going to do them Tuesday and Thursday night, but I'm going to go ahead and just do them all three nights and praying that I feel better tomorrow morning than what I feel right now. But um, like I said, I really, really want to share this information with you guys and get this out to you because this is, uh, this is it, right? This is really, shadow work is the missing piece, I believe, for a lot of people. If you've been doing, like if you've done a lot of mindset work, uh, if you've kind of done somatics, but like, you're not sure how it works or like if you've, it, it's just, it brings all everything all into one. And so that's really who this is for. Another thing is in order to do this work this week, uh, there are two things that we need. And today you guys are going to pay attention to this. Number one, we need to be able to find safety within ourselves. We need to be able to feel safe within, right? We have to be able to, instead of relying on somebody else outside of us or, you know, a, which this is for a lot of people in recovery, this is what we were doing. We were trying to uh, create safety in our body or to feel good, right? And not need any, but like, yeah, so since this is also about codependency, right? This is really, I mean, codependency is one of the most prominent shadows that we all have here where we need somebody outside of ourselves. We need something outside of ourselves to make us feel whole and complete. And this week, I really want to guide you guys into a space where you do that all on your own. And then also at shadow work, kind of, it opens up the door to your subconscious. So, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night are going to be the Zoom calls. We're not going to do them every night. Like I said, I got food poisoning pretty bad on Friday, and I'm still not feeling well right now, but I don't, we're not going to cancel this. We're going to do it, and I'm going to show up the best that I can, um, and I appreciate all of you guys. So, um, hi, Erica. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Cassie. All right. So, for the first day, um, you, if you've ever done a mindful morning with me before, you guys are pretty familiar. I know most of you on here have. Stacy, I'm not sure if you have. But what the point is, is in the morning, you guys will have one thing to pay attention to, right? All day. One thing to really be mindful about. Because when we aren't present, 
if we cannot connect with our current experience, then there is no healing that's going to happen. It's just, it's, it's not possible, right? When our head is in the past, or if it's worried about what's in the future, or so focused on what's not happening, then we can't find those bits of gold throughout the day to, that's going to help us shift, right? And help us move into the next part of it. So today's about discovering what safety feels like for you. So throughout today, really notice who do you feel safest around and what does safety mean for you? What does it mean for you to feel safe? So for me, it means I feel accepted. I don't feel judged. I feel like, think about that friend you can go to and tell them anything and they don't judge you, which if you've worked with me at in coaching, you know that this is the container I love, I, I create for you guys. You can come to me with anything. You can even come to me like if you've murdered somebody <laughs> and I would fully accept you. Like that is what my, that's my goal. That's what I'm always trying to do. Um, I'm not perfect, right? <laughs> I am human. So sometimes I'm sure, but you guys are going to learn about um, three main concepts this week, right? The conscious versus the unconscious mind, like to really know what is in each one of those. Um, and then also about the ego and the persona and then about your shadow, right? The shadows, because there's a couple different, there's a dark shadow and there's a golden shadow. And so you guys will learn about that um, on on one of the days coming up, sorry. I'll send out uh, a message. I'm going to create a chat. Um, but what feels safe for you? If you guys want to let me know in the chat, do you have someone or do you feel like you're walking on eggshells all the time? Do you feel like you're like, do you work somewhere? <laughs> and, and this is, this is just, let's be honest and real. Everybody like this is a safe space. It's private, like, especially in the zoom call tomorrow night and Wednesday and Thursday night, by the way, they're at seven, seven o'clock tomorrow night, Wednesday night, and Thursday night, and it's on Zoom. It's not going to be Facebook Live. There's no way I can create a safe container on Facebook Live. <laughs> That's just, there's no way I can do that. Um, so let me go ahead and see what you guys, and my, my tablet's acting really funny, but go ahead and let me know, like, what does that feel for you guys um, as far as feeling safe within yourself or where you, where you go to work. I mean, is your office, how does your office feel, right? This is work that I did with a client the other night or the other day of like creating the feeling of safety at work, creating the feeling of, or if you're at home, like I really, I know for some people this might be like, oh, I don't, I don't even know what it feels like. That's fine. Um, but let's find it because that is the only way we can start to do this work. Like it's, it, there's no, that's where I really want to help you guys today. Even if you want to message me and say, I just don't know what it feels like for me to feel safe. I don't know what that feels like. I've never experienced it. And I also want to preface that if you're not able to do this work this week, no shame or judgment around that where you might just need, because we're also going to go into the nervous system and how to regulate it, because that's also a num the number one thing, safety and self-compassion, those two things. So tomorrow you're going to work on self-compassion, but today it's about the safety. So those are the two things you have to have. Um, if you don't feel like you really love yourself and you're having, you know, you're like, I don't really like that. This might not be the challenge for you and that's okay. Like, that's no, no judgment at all. I'm just here to help you guys move, <laughs> right? A therapist helps you go like kind of into the, well, I don't really know. I, I know amazing therapists, but I also know, and I've gotten clients lately that are like, I went to therapy for 10 years and nothing's happening. I'm still in the same place. If that's you, <laughs> then like, yeah, send me a message because so I just that that is really why I started to dive into this work is because I was hearing that so much. Not to say going to therapy is because you should have a coach and a therapist. Honestly, that's like what I believe. But if you've been going to therapy and you don't know how to regulate your emotion or your nervous system, if you don't have coping skills and you've been going to therapy for years, there's a problem. 
Those are the two things you want to learn in therapy is how to regulate your own nervous system. That is the first thing you want to do. So if that's not happening, then I would just just send me a message and we can talk about <laughs> how you can really get going with that. And that's what you guys will learn this week as well. So, day, so today it's about safety. Today, just pay attention to how you feel. So how we do that in the moment is just with breath, right? So if you guys just go ahead and, and close your eyes, or if you're driving, don't close your eyes, but just take a breath. That's it. Just taking three deep breaths. So breathing in through your nose, like it's called a circle breath. So you just breathe in through your nose and your belly goes out. So you're blowing it up like a balloon. And this is very important to learn how to do this for tomorrow night, Wednesday and Thursday. And you can put your hand on your chest and just breathe in. Your belly goes out. So you're just doing mindful breathing, right? And then you exhale out of your mouth. So you breathe in through your nose. Your belly blows up like a balloon and then you exhale. So you just really want to get in this place of breathing and that's it. That's all you're doing today. Um, and that is how you are going to get into the present moment. And in order to, you know, when you start to be around someone that like when you feel judged, write that down. I really suggest having like a journal or something or in your phone saying like, I feel this way. We just want to know how we feel throughout the day. And then that's going to help us a lot tomorrow. Um, I want to see what you guys are saying, but I can't <laughs> because my tablet is just like blank. So it's fine. I'll get on here and respond to everybody. Um, and so today, your two things. What feels safe for you? Where do you feel safe? Who do you feel safe around? Who do you not feel safe around? Um, what is the, the main thing is like, how, what do you feel like when you feel safe? And how, like this tomorrow night, we'll, we'll, you'll learn how to create that in your body on your own. So we'll also be doing, um, so like tomorrow it's going to be about the self-compassion, but really your triggers and your reactions. Um, and then day three, it's going to be about your judgments. And, and where you're comparing yourself at. So this is what you're going to pay attention to. And then day four, it's going to be about you regulating your nervous system. So really noticing when you're in hyper or hypo, right? When you're, when you're in those, your, your nervous system is dysregulated, then you're going to know how to get back into regulation. Uh, because that's also what we can't heal and learn and, and move things unless we're in our window of tolerance, which you guys are going to learn more about that as well. And then day five will be about movement, right? About movement and like moving energy through the body. Um, and then of course I'll share about my program with you guys. And then whoever wins that one-on-one, -on -one, the, sh the shadow shift, just you and I, which you'll learn what a shadow shift is on Thursday night. We're going to do like a group shadow shift. Um, so that'll be Thursday night. Okay. So, <sighs> So just again, take three deep breaths. That's all you have to do today. Super easy. Um, and when you start to feel activated, just take some three deep breaths. And that is all you guys need to do. Okay. And if you need any help around this, if you have any questions, um, I'm going to create a chat. So all of you, um, and tomorrow I'll be able to talk with all you guys. I hate this. I hate that I can't see your comments, but this was just simple and easy. And I'm excited that you're here with me. All right, you guys. So just pay attention to what's safe for you and take three deep breaths today when you start to feel activated. All right. Love you guys. Bye.